Hello everybody, welcome to Chuck's Diecast and Model Reviews. Today we're going to be taking a look at this lovely model here. This is, uh, I guess you could call it the fourth in my series, which you can call Cars Which Chuck Used to Own. Um, I've shown the video of my Alpha GTV6, my Porsche 9, uh, the Porsche 914, the E36 BMW M3, and now we have this car. Um, actually, this isn't exactly the car I had um, because this is actually an Audi S2. Um, I just had what was called the Audi Coupe uh, Quattro, uh, which was the one that was sold in the United States. Um, the main difference being less power, unfortunately. Uh, despite that, this is a car I absolutely loved. Um, it just uh, uh, was for its time, you know, very luxurious inside actually. Uh, and of course the Quattro, uh, you know, uh, all-wheel drive there made it uh, awesome to drive in the winter time as well. So um, the reason why I sold it was just for two reasons. One, uh, you know, I'd had it for about half a dozen years and it served me pretty well. It was a very solid and pretty reliable car but in the end I was concerned that uh, uh, you know it had the old air conditioning refrigerant in it and I was concerned that someday soon the air conditioning would pack in and it would end up cost me a ton of money to get it converted to modern refrigerant and also it did not get particularly great mileage it uh, got about 19 miles to the gallon and uh, given its power which was about 165 horsepower that wasn't all that great and what I ended up doing was selling this and getting in that E36 M3 which gained me about 5 miles per gallon so I got about 20 to 25 percent better gas mileage and gained nearly 100 horsepower so uh, so I had to give this up uh, for, but you know I certainly did enjoy my M3 as well, though. Um, but uh, again, this is an Audi S2. Uh, these were built uh, from about I think 1991 to 96 and sold basically only in Europe. And uh, as I mentioned, it did have more horsepower than the uh, U.S. version, uh, basically because the U.S. version was not turbocharged and it had 165 horse versus this one which uh, was turbocharged and had about 220 horsepower which by modern standards isn't great but I'm sure it would still give you a lot of fun because like I said I had plenty of fun with the 165 mine ad. Uh, if you didn't know this, uh, this engine uh, both in the S2 and in my uh, Quattro Coupe were a 2.2 liter 4 valve per cylinder uh, 5 cylinder engine so it was 20 valves but 5 cylinders so it's pretty uh, unique in that way uh, it wasn't particularly quick of course because of the 165 horsepower and also the Quattro drive did add some weight. Um, I did get it up to about 110. It had plenty more to go, but you know, uh, it's not, it definitely wasn't a race car, if you know what I mean. It was just a very, very nice, comfortable uh, um, GT car, basically. Um, this particular model is made by Auto Models, as you'll see. It is a limited edition and it is number 595 out of 999 as you see. Not too much detail on the bottom by the way as you can tell. Uh, but uh, this is actually the same color that I had in my car which was uh, the pearl white. Uh, it did look slightly different in the front. The early models of Quattro Coupe had um, the hood was separate from the grill uh, so that was uh, what you could 
that was kind of the primary difference here. The later models did have um, the uh, uh, grill as part of the hood, which does look a little bit better. Um, detail on this end is actually pretty nice. You can see the uh, turn signals are well done. Uh, they were slightly different on my car as well. Um, and uh, uh, also there was no uh, big air dam on the front end like this as well. Um, the other difference between my car and this is that the Audi S2 had a suspension and everything tuned by Porsche. They actually uh, uh, basically subcontracted out to Porsche to get the suspension and brakes uh, tuned to a higher spec in the S2. Uh, but uh, externally, it uh, again looks pretty much the same as my car. Um, although, I don't know if this was intent, you know, a, an error on their part or if the S2 was like this, but my Audi had a little, uh, you know, the uh, uh, windshield or the uh, rear window defroster actually had Quattro in script down at the bottom here. So the defroster, as you defrosted, you could see the word Quattro come up here on the bottom, which was kind of cool. Um, back in here, of course, very nice detail. Tail lights look really good. Um, everything looks uh, as it should. Um, unfortunately, this is a, uh, a resin model, so nothing actually opens on this. In fact, the wheels don't even turn. But I had to get this model just because I haven't found any other version of this model in, uh, by any other manufacturer. So just to be a completist and get as many models of cars that I used to own, I did uh, buy this model. And um, externally, it looks really good. And I'm um, really, um, you know, rather, um, you know, uh, satisfied with what you get here. I mean, it wasn't an overly expensive model. I think I probably paid about 75 or 85 dollars for it. So, um, so it was it was worth the expense there. Um, but uh, that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, well, if you did, please of course like and uh, sign up for my channel as well. Take care and have a great day.